Welcome to the Modern Python Linting with Ruff video course. You will be using Ruff to lint and format your code, but what is this thing? Well, Ruff is a popular linter and formatter that was created by Astral, which you might know from the tool UV. So UV and Ruff were created by the same company. In this video course, you're going to learn to do a couple of different things. You'll learn how to lint your code with Ruff, how to fix the linting errors that you find automatically, how to check your code continuously for these errors, how to customize the rules that Ruff checks for. You're going to learn how to format your code and we'll also learn how to create a configuration file for Ruff so that your configuration settings persist. Now, in this course, it's assumed you already know what linting and formatting are why you would care about those things. But just as a quick reminder, formatting your code means applying stylistic changes so that your code looks consistent. And it's stylistic changes only that should not affect the functionality of your code at all. And linting is a process of analyzing your code statically, which means without running your code, to look for potential code smells according to some standards or best practices guides, looking for potential bugs and other minor things like that that you could fix without even running your code. And in this course, you will learn how to use Ruff to do this. So the focus of the course is on the tool, not the concepts of linting and formatting. So without further ado, let's get started. If you want to learn how to use Ruff to lint and format your code, obviously you need to start by installing Ruff. But I just wanted to make a small disclaimer because Ruff is under active development. So improvements and updates to the tool are fairly frequent, which means that when you install Ruff, you are very likely to get a version that's more recent than the one I have when recording this for you. But that's perfectly fine, because this course focuses on fundamental and core parts of the Ruff interface, which are unlikely to change significantly. But just a heads up. So to install Ruff, there's a couple of ways to do it. Astral recommends that you install with UV, but there are many different ways of installing Ruff. Some depend on your operating system. So your best bet is to go to the official documentation guide, the Ruff installation guide, and follow the instructions there that you find the most suitable. And once you do, once you have Ruff installed, you can check that the installation is successful by running the subcommand Ruff version. I'll show you right now what this looks like. So you go to the docs, you install Ruff, and then you open your terminal. And in your terminal, you just run Ruff version. And if you get output that looks similar to the one you can see on the screen, where it says rough and then a version number, in this case, it's 0 0.12.9, and then some information about the checksum and the date, then everything is fine and you are ready to go. And if something is not working, then double check the official documentation guide to make sure you're installing rough properly. As a small note, I just want to make sure that there's no confusion. You just saw the command rough version in the terminal, but the command was ran from inside the directory called rough, which is why if you look closely, the terminal will spell out rough rough, which might even sound like a dog barking. But just bear in mind that the first word rough, which is in a different color and in bold, is the name of the directory you're in, and the rough version, which is not in bold and in white, is the command you're running. So keep that in mind throughout the remaining lessons. As soon as rough is installed, you're ready to go and you're ready to start linting your code, which is what you'll do in the next lesson. Now that you've installed rough, you're ready to start using it to check your code for linting errors. And you will do that with the subcommand rough check. Not necessarily often, but it might happen that you will lint your code and Ruff reports a linting error that you've never seen before and that you don't really understand. And so you will also learn how to use the subcommand Ruff rule to get more information about that error. 
and you will see everything in action in just a second. You just need some code to work with, right? So go ahead and download the file onering.py from the course materials. You should be able to download this file and move it to a directory where you're comfortable working in. Once you do that, let's just take a quick look at what the file looks like. So the file onering.py should have roughly 20 lines of Python code. It should have a global variable called characters, which is very long, doesn't fit on the screen. It has a couple of functions and then a couple of if statements at the bottom of the file. And this is the code you're going to be working with. So the first thing you'll do is open your terminal and make sure you've navigated to the directory where the file onering.py is. Right now, if you use the command ls, you can see that you are in the correct directory. And once you're there, you can run the subcommand rough check to check if there are any errors in your code. And once you run rough check, you get two different errors on the screen. Now, when rough presents an error, the error will start with an error code, which is typically one or a couple of letters followed by some numbers, and then one line, a short sentence describing the error. Ruff will also show you the context, the file and the line where the error is found, and also the surrounding code. And sometimes it will also show you some help text, giving hints or suggestions as to what you could do to fix the error. Now, the thing is, sometimes these errors aren't very easy to understand in the first place. And when that's the case, you can use the subcommand rough rule to get more information about that error. For example, if you look at the second error, it has the error code F821. So what you can do is you can type the subcommand rough rule and then F821. And if you press enter, you get some markdown text describing the error that you got, what the error does, how to fix it, or some examples of how you can fix the error, options that might be relevant, references in case you want to learn more. So Ruff will give you a lot of information about different errors. And this is very helpful if you get an error that you've never seen or an error that you seldom see and that you don't really remember what it means. Now, when you check your code, you run the subcommand rough check. And what this subcommand does by default is go through all files in the current directory, traverse the directory recursively and check every single file. But you can also provide a subfolder or a specific file to check. So if you ran rough check one ring.py, you would check explicitly only the file that you specified. So that's very helpful. And another thing that might be of interest is that the subcommand rough rule accepts an option dash dash all, which lets you take a look at all errors that rough could possibly report. You can see it on the screen because it was a lot of text and it scrolled past really, really fast. But this is a lot of output. It's not convenient to scroll up to the top to find the beginning. You might not even have enough history length to be able to scroll to the beginning. So one thing you might want to do is run rough rule dash dash all and then pipe. So the vertical bar character and pipe that output to the command less which will let you page through the output of all of the rules and therefore making it easier to take a look at all of the rules if, if you wanted to just read about them from start to finish. So you can use the up and down arrows to go up and down the output. And when you want to quit, just press Q. Now, this is just a curiosity. It's unlikely that you'll want to read the whole document from start to finish, but at least you know the information is there. If the internet goes down, you can still access the documentation about each rule that Ruff can check for. And now that you know how to check for linting issues, it's time to learn how to fix them with Ruff. And that's what you'll do in the next lesson.